I have some very exciting news at the start of this episode. It's six o'clock in the morning, it's July, and it's a wonderful time to be alive and to be up in Iowa here where we are. And the exciting news is we have some bales. Bales to make um, TMR out of for the cows. I have some straw bales here. I collected them off our field after we'd finished harvesting. 72 straw bales, so I don't need any more straw swaths. So I must remember to turn that off when we harvest in a bit. And we have 24 hay bales. Um, we should get some more hay bales, but that's for another time. And we also have this thing, this bale picker upper thing, <laughs> which um, I've wanted one of these for ages because this is very authentic, you know, and I enjoy picking bales up with this rather than just auto loading all the time. So um, now I, ha I wanted to buy some cows last time. So let's just go up to the cow shed. Yes, if you remember, and also, by the way, I should put all the bales in a shed just up here instead of all the way down there, but I'll do that some other time. But anyway, if um, I, I, would, I, was, I was going to sell last time uh, our 50 cows, you can see here they're eight months old, and it's madness to sell them because in just a few short months, they'll be 12 months old and they'll produ be producing milk. So what I think I'll do is go into this and buy another 30 um, 12 month old Holstein cows. Yeah, we can afford that. That's fine. Yes. So in a few short months, uh, let's just look at our cows again. We will have 130 milk producing cows instead of what we've got at the moment, which is 50 milk producing cows. Uh, so that's very good because we're always short of milk and I think we need more cows. That's the thing. So uh, we have lots of, let's have a look. We have lots of food in here at the moment and very soon we'll be giving them TMR. So that's the cow sorted out. The other thing we need to do today is go to our lorry and this field, which is oats, and we've kept this harvester, this absolutely enormous, ginormous, huge harvester. And let's get in it. This ginormous harvester, we kept this from yesterday because we harvested, well, let's get out again, this field yesterday, which was barley. And today we have to harvest the oats. So let's fire it up and get it started. Have I, got, I haven't got it unfolded. I must have folded it up yesterday. So, get it started, and inevitably I'll have to put this on a time lapse, but let's just get going. I have crop destruction on now, so if something goes wrong, I will destroy my crops. But, and this is, I've, I've souped this up a little bit since yesterday, so it's going a bit faster. So this is a major thing to do today, because we are at the moment short of milk and flour, but we've just harvested the barley, which we're getting flour from, and now we're harvesting these oats, which will get loads of flour, flour from, because look at the size of this field. So, I think that's all the talking I can do for the moment. And I'll see you when this is, well, maybe halfway through. I wonder what it smells like when you harvest oats. I bet it's quite a quite a nice smell, you know, like cutting grass or something. And it probably mixes in with the smell of the the diesel fumes from the from the harvester. But but that's not a completely unpleasant smell, I don't suppose. Uh, let's just switch this off and put this out, and then get into our truck because I think this is our second fill up, and we've done most of the field now. I've done it pretty quickly because of the size of this harvester. Uh, let's just have a look at the field. Yeah, it's it's mostly done, isn't it? So, uh, but this is our second fill up, and we should have 
a lot of flour coming through now which is has been a problem but let's just get filled up and then we'll go over to the uh, the water mill um, for our second well this, this will be our second visit okay all done so let's switch this off and get back in the truck somehow and let's go and I'll see you at the water mill As I keep saying, this is my fa favourite area of the map down at this water mill. It's just lovely down here. And I'd like to see what our precision farming score is, because we've just harvested that field, and I'd like to see our score. We never seem to get 100%, but maybe we've got, like, 98% or something. <laughs> let's just find out. So, let's start overloading. And let's just have a look at that, shall we? Uh, on here. Uh, yeah, this field here, 98%. So, it's always nitrogen at the top. I mean, we haven't finished harvesting it yet, but... Um, and our environmental score is 86. We've got 99 here, 70 here for the corn. We haven't harvested, harvested the corn yet. We need to do that in September. And 72 for this field, which we've just bought. So we, we haven't precision farmed this. We need to harvest it and then start again. And we have this field over here as well. 98%. So our environmental score at the moment is 86%. And we can get 11% extra when we sell stuff. So let's. the other thing we need to do is go to our productions and go to the the water mill and turn on the oat flour we have 118,000 litres of it and we'll have it all distributing that's all fine so okay um actually before i do anything else i'd like to have a look at the uh what's it called now the stock index today and see if there's any big numbers here in green uh I can't see any any big numbers, but I'm really tempted to sell things like cornbread and butter popcorn because, you know, we can get so much money for those at the moment. But I suppose we don't really need to, to have it. But I would like to buy a cultivator um, after we've finished harvesting this field. Um, do you know what? I think I might sell this. Let's have a look at cakes as well and see how they're doing. Because look at the price of those things. 104000 um, I think I might do these things that aren't green, but but are yellow. You know, you know. So cornbread and pop, pop, butter popcorn. Put my teeth in. Um, so let's take this back to the farm, or to the field actually. I'll take the uh, I'll take the trailer back to the field and then go and pick up the um, what's it called, the low loader, and then I'll I'll see you at the bakery or whatever it is we pick up that stuff from. So I'll, I'll see you there. Okay, here's the butter popcorn, and there's absolutely loads of it. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, so I think it's probably out of something, because there aren't any kind of on the tarmac there for me to pick up. Um, let's just see how it's doing, actually. Let's go to our productions. Butter popcorn. What's it missing now? Sea salt. Okay, we need to buy that, because that's the only way we can get it. But let's just get all the uh, the butter popcorn on here. Oh, completely full. Look at that. Okay, I might have to do a few trips with these things because there's no other way to sell it other than to do a few trips. Let's just find out exactly where we need to go. Garden restaurant. Phew, that's just down the road. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll see you there. Okay, so I think I'll go and buy some sea salt on the way back because uh, I do pass the shop on my way back. But let's just see how much we get for this lot. All right, about 42,000. Okay, let's just get to the shop and get some sea salt so we can continue producing our popcorn. Okay, just here, I think. Yeah, just here. Brilliant. So that should mean our, our butter popcorn is now producing again, which it is. Fine. Okay. And still we'll have some corn to put in there as well. So, all right, let's pick up the rest of the pop, butter popcorn and then um, we'll head to our next destination. So, I'll do this and then I'll just do the last one, which will be just as many cakes and, and um, popcorn uh, that we can get on here. So, oh...
One more to do. I think it's about 40,000. I'm not sure how much that was, but anyway, I'll see you back here when I've picked up all the cakes and the the uh, popcorn. Was it popcorn? Whatever it was. <laughs> I'll see you back here anyway. I wish this garden restaurant was real. I'd really like to, to come here. <laughs> Maybe it is real in Iowa. Maybe it's based on a real place. I don't know, but uh, it just looks lovely, you know, in there. I just... I just I don't want to get too hot, but uh, they must have like fans and things in there and air conditioning. Anyway, how much will we get for this lot? Okay, now I wanted to do something different with our our fields because what I normally do is put after we've after we've harvested is to put um, slurry on them and then use a direct drill. But direct drills are quite small. I'd like to see. I'd like to do that now if you don't mind. Uh, I'd like to see if there's quite a big cultivator and then quite a big sort of drill we can use. Not a, not a direct drill, but a normal drill. So let's have a look in here for disc harrows, because I think disc harrows are like, yeah, they are the shallow cultivators rather than a normal cultivator. I want the shallowest cultivation we can get. So the biggest one is this one, 17.9, oh no, 17.9 tons, 12 and a half meters. So the uh, let me just think about this now because that's twelve and a half, that's twelve and a half meters and the direct drill we normally use is this one and it's eight meters. This is eight meters. So uh, we need really one. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to save us any time. Um, but I would like to do cultivating next, just just for a change, basically, because I always do the same thing. You know, put slurry on and then put and then do direct drilling. But I'd rather do what. Jeremy Clarkson does which is to after it's harvested it just goes on there immediately with a cultivator and that's what I'd like to do but the first thing we need to do is we have a grass field that needs just watch the road we have a grass field that needs fertilizing so I'm gonna take um, I think we have a tractor over there already we do we have the JCB fast track so I'm gonna pick up our, our John Deere sprayer and I'll see you over at our uh, our second farm. I lied. I said I'd bring the, the uh, John Deere sprayer, but this is the Bertoad sprayer, which is a bigger sprayer. So I bought it because we need it for, the, for our big fields, but this is like the smallest field on the map, actually. So I don't really need it for this field, but I want to use it anyway because it's new. So let's just go over here, and you can see we have the JCB fast track over there. So I'll use that. And I'll just get this off of here in quite an in inelegant manner, which is just to do this. All right, and let's go and get into our fast track. And I still haven't changed the narrow tyres on this fast track, but uh, we need to put like a a garage down or something so we can work on our machines I'd like to have one of those we do have some money but I'm thinking when we this this news will end on episode 50 and when we when we end I'm not going to sell everything I'm going to leave it to the people of Iowa <laughs> I'm going to leave all the land and the equipment and they can do what they want with it all but I would like to leave with some money and also with the truck and the low loader and our two tractors that we have and at least one oh good we've got the wobbles at least one of our uh, sprayers because I, I I quite like the JC the the, the, D, the John Deere one so I'd like to leave with that when when we go but I'm not going to sell every, sell everything up at the end I'm just going to leave it all behind um, are we wobbling? no so that's what I'm going to do and just take with me, like I said just now, just take with me everything on the low loader and, you know, whatever money we've got left at the end of the at the end of the series. Anyway, I'll see you when this is done. This Bertoat thing has really got the twitches, but uh, there's not anything I can do about it, I don't think. The uh the John Deere does this as well, but uh, it just goes away after a while. Let's just finish this off and then hopefully we'll get some nice uh, grass silage uh, from this field. 
that we can use to make uh, TMR. So I'm waiting for the next harvest from this and then we can start making TMR and then our cows will be super efficient hopefully. Uh, so I'll, I'll just turn this off because I'd like to see we have all these wooden productions here and I need to make sure they've got wood in them. Let's just look at our productions here and see if there's any red dots here. What, what's this red dot for milk? Okay. Um, how much milk have we got? 10,000 litres. Well, I won't do that at the moment, but I'm um, just looking for wood. So, uh, Jackson Sawmill. Gosh, look at that. No wood in there at all. Um, carpentry. That, okay, that's fine. Paper factory. That's okay. And what else? The Lankholtz. I'm not putting wood in there, actually, but this sawmill as well. So I think we need to go and do some wood for, what was it again, the the sawmill. Uh, okay. Um, all right, let's go and get the, let's go and get the timber runner and I'll see you down at the forest. I think I've left some trees on the ground here that I couldn't get, get on last time. So it might be lucky and I can maybe I'll just pick up the ones that I've left here. I know it's very lazy. I'd like to be even lazier and just auto load the trees straight out of the ground <laughs> into the into the timber runner, but it's not quite at that uh, juncture just yet. So let's just see. I thought I left some trees lying around here somewhere, or have I? No, it looks like I've picked them up. So, all right, I've got a bit of work to do, and I'll just do this on a time lapse. Okay, completely full. Fantastic. So we've got a couple more to pick up next time. But all we need to do now is drive over to the sawmill, which is just next door. So let's see if I can turn this around without flopping it over. <laughs> um, and yes, there's the sawmill over there. So uh, we do have another forest, you probably remember. I put like, I think it's 720 spruce trees in it, and that will be ready. Well, the next phase... Oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Fantastic. The thing I said not to do. Just a second. Anyway. Yeah, those trees will be ready. Uh, the next phase is January. So then, eight months after that will be... What, September next year so if we're still around on the map we should see them so they're fully grown that will be September next year let's see if we can get to that by episode 50 we've got like eight episodes to go after today anyway let's get this stuff put in here how much do you think that is 31,000 litres of wood fantastic so uh, I think what I'd like to do is just go now and finish off that field and uh, that'll be it for the day. Just finish off the oats field. So I'll see you when I get back there. Okay, so here we are again. <laughs> and we only have a little bit of the field left to do. So let's see if I can get attached to this trailer. Nice, okay. All right, let's jump out of here and get in here. And so we shouldn't have 
more than the lorry full on this field, I don't think. So I think um, hopefully we can get this harvester uh, finished by... Well, we've got 0.6 hours on it at the moment. I'd like to not go into another hour. So let's see if we can do that. Nowhere near getting to an hour with this thing. That's very, very good. So just this bit and this bit I missed over here. And there's another bit I missed over here somewhere. Let's just see if we can get that. just here I don't know why but it wouldn't harvest but I'll just see I mean I've driven through it now so it won't be very much but I just want to see if I can harvest it now no I can't so I don't know why that is okay let's turn everything off well thanks for joining me today we've got um, quite a lot done we harvested this field and that was the main thing to do today and I'm gonna have to keep this because we have a field of sorghum just over here and this is due to be harvested tomorrow so I do not want to send the harvester back it because it will cost me loads of money to rehire it tomorrow so I'll just keep it for tomorrow and uh, that's when we'll be in the next episode on, on August the 1st so thanks very much for joining me and bye for now